Hi everybody. My name is uh, Three Bear Fox, as you may know some of my uh, channel. I'm uh, doing this video, as you may have noticed, this is the first time I'm doing it in my real voice, because I'm not here to show you my voices. I I, I do thank everyone for their support for what they've been doing, but um, uh, I actually want to show you something different. Uh, there, I don't just do voices or pretend to do voices, as some of you may claim, but I also do pipe cleaner art. Now, I've seen at least one other guy on YouTube who does pipe cleaner art. Um, of course, you go to Michael's, you go to Joanne's, you go to any arts and crafts store and they sell chenille stems or pipe cleaners and, you know, usually you can just fold into like a little pom-pom chick, duckling, or cat or, or something like that. I've taken it a little bit of a step further and I want to show you some of my, some of the ones that I have in my collection right now. I want to make more and if possible, I can want to make some original creations and sell them online. So this is my first video of showing my pipe cleaner creations to the world. So bear with me and uh, let's take a look here, shall we? Um, this is one of my earliest examples. And I do mean early. This, as you may or may not be able to tell, I'm going to assume not, uh, is my version of Lumiere from Beauty and the Beast. This is one I made uh, specifically for my girlfriend who does love Beauty and the Beast. Um, doing such a inanimate object as stiff as Lumiere, it's really hard to do, especially since he has a very complex mouth and the cup and the wax and I don't I don't even know. Um, these are just bare wires up here. I didn't even have gray at the time to make his shaded eyelids, so yeah, it's not very good, is it? Well, you know what? It gets better from here. Well, how about this? I am a Disney file, so yeah, Oswald the Lucky Rabbit. Very primitive. He doesn't have uh, a mouth. He just has big floppy ears. What's there to say about Oswald other than he's awesome? I mean, Epic Mickey, right? And now he's in Tokyo doing meet and greets. So, yeah, Oswald, he's, he's been one of my favorites and uh, hopefully he sticks around for a while. This is one I made recently for a friend. I, I haven't been able to ship it out to her, and if you're watching this, I do apologize, but I will get, try to get this out as soon as I can. Yeah, Winnie the Pooh. And again, like Oswald, he doesn't have a mouth, but it's pretty easy to tell who it's supposed to be. Now you're wondering why he's probably so big. I actually made him hollow, and uh, that's what's been able to save me so much pipe cleaners and makes him so much lighter. So, yeah, Winnie the Pooh. I'm not sure I'm a big fan of those big bushy eyebrows, though. Okay, let's do something original now. And don't you judge me. Yeah, I made a unicorn. What are you going to say about it? Of course, this uh, unicorn's pretty skinny, but ultimately the reason I made this was because I just wanted to expand and uh, see what else I could do. Yeah, I could have made a horse, but I uh, wanted to do something a little more unique than that, and I didn't want to do a pegasus. I, the, the wings just would have been a pain in the butt. So I figured, why not just do a simple unicorn? I've got the horn, light blue mane, got the lion's tail, nice little gray hooves. Um, I do need to touch this one up a little bit. Obviously, I need to make her a little bit thicker. So we'll see where this one goes. And uh, if you like it, great. If not, oh well. It's the internet. Um, here's another one of my, my, my favorites. This is just plain, simple teddy bear. Now, there's a couple things you may notice. Number one, the heart's on the wrong side of the body. Yeah, that was... I admit I made a cop on that one. So, but, um... And the other one, too, is, is uh, this big white disc at the bottom. Why is this? Well, it's pretty simple. So this teddy bear can stand up, and it looks more cute that way, don't you think? As far as the heart thing goes, I don't know, I get to think of something like making up a backstory of, like, a little girl who once owned a teddy bear, and even though she put the heart on the wrong side of her body, her heart was in the right place or something. I don't know. I'm just making the stuff up on the fly. Don't judge me. But then again, the sea internet, so you're free to judge. So who am I to say? Anyway, this was one piece I'm a little proud of. I do like how inherently adorable it came out. Is it perfect? No, none of these are. And yeah. Now this one's a little more unique. Um, when I was in high school, a friend got me hooked on the TV show Kim Possible. And I still watch it today. Great show. Absolutely love it. Um, a few years ago, though, for two Halloweens in a row, I dressed up as Ron Stoppable. Booyah! That didn't prove anything. 
I don't have blonde hair and I don't have freckles, but still, Ron Stoppable. I mean, if nothing else, well, anyway, I dressed up as Ron Stoppable for Halloween. So I had to have a Rufus, right? Well, this was the result. Yeah, it's probably a little horrifying from your angle. But essentially, the ideology was this. I was just as Ron Stoppable. And even though I was Ron Stoppable, I had the gray gloves, I had the black t-shirt, and the gray cargo pants. You know, I was dressed up Ron. I decided that Rufus had to be in a costume, too. Um, these wires that you see, that these very curly wires, just bare pipe cleaners. I didn't have a whole lot of time to straighten them out, and some of them are a little rusty at this point, because this hasn't gotten the best treatment over the years. Uh, the ears are a little wonky, and yes, he's... It's just like Mickey Mouse. I mean, come on. I went to Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party for two years in a row, dressed as Ron Stoppable. <laughs> so yeah, Rufus. Uh, let me see what's another good one. Okay, how about this one? I take it you've all seen the movie Mulan. Well, why not? Mushu's an awesome character. The only downside about this, yeah, his head is a little large and he is top heavy. So if I can find a way to keep him thin without wrapping too many red pipe cleaners down near the base, I should be good. But this was one I did when I started the practice and up again recently, and I really wanted to get into nitty-gritty details. I wanted to do the teeth individually. I wanted to do the tongue. I wanted to do his big, long ears with the pink on the inside, even to the point of making the niche right here. Even to, even to the horns being the two different shades of blue. The only downside was I couldn't find any enough thin pipe cleaners to make the uh, whiskers, so. But hey, at least I got the back spikes on the back of his neck, and honestly, I was actually just able to be glad to get maroon for his claws and his toes, and yeah. Years ago, it used to be brown, so. Anyway, Mushu, you're part of my collection. There you go. Uh, now, one other thing you should probably know about me is... Uh, I'm a huge fan of Disney's Song of the South. That's number one, my favorite Disney movie of all time. Jungle Book's close second. But anyway, that being said, uh, I had a Brer Rabbit in my collection for the longest time, and uh, right about the same time, a friend of mine asked me for the uh, Winnie the Pooh. Um, they had asked if I can do Brer Rabbit. I took that to mean, can I make one for her? I made it. I asked it where I can ship it. She said, oh, no, I just wanted to see what it looked like. Here are the results. This one here, right here, this is the oldest one. This is the one I made a long time ago. And again, like uh, Oswald, like Pooh, he doesn't have a mouth. But, you know, whatever. Uh, I also made his little satchel here detachable. And it runs right through his collar. It was the only thing I was able to make it stand up. He's got fully functional fingers like most of these do. He's got the big fade. I wasn't able to make his pants as big as I could have wanted to. And I wish I could have made a mouth or something. He's very big and very expressionless eyes. Not a huge fan, but you know what? It's Burr Rabbit. Being little without much strength, fools use his heads to his foots. Compare that to this one I made more recently. It's roughly about the same. The only main difference is that this one has a mouth, which sadly I'm not a huge fan of. I think I've made the lip too big, and it looks like something I probably should never discuss. But the other main difference is that I didn't even bother with fingers on this other hand. I just wrapped several brown pipe cleaners, threaded them through on through here, so now it's stuck on. doesn't come off. This one, on the other hand, shake around just too much, bam, there it goes. So, Brer Rabbit, Brer Rabbit, whichever one people seem to like better, great. If not, oh well. Um, like I said, I also have plenty of original ones, and I know I'm just showing off the Disney ones for the most part. Um, this is one my girlfriend has pretty much claimed ever since I first made it, so let's see what you guys think. Yep, good old cuddly panda bear. And just like Winnie the Pooh, he is hollow. You can probably tell just looking at it, kind of looks like a hollow ship. That's what it takes. It just weave them back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, and just goes all the way around. It's not all solid structurally, and frankly, it's just, yeah, it's not very sturdy in, as far as the legs go. But he's so cute, isn't he? No. But, yeah, I kind of like the way he turned out. If people want him and want to hold him and keep him and hug him. You know, without crushing him. Great. Okay. Um. Here's an, Here's a. Here's another one I'm pretty proud of. This is a project I'm currently working on, and frankly, I actually this is the first time I've ever needed to use anything outside of pipe cleaners. You know, I don't even touch pom poms for these things. You know, 
but um, this one I need cloth because um, when it comes to making these pipe cleaner things, the hardest thing you can make is thin, large thin things. What are large thin things? Like a cape. And in this case, I am the terror that flaps in the night. I am the barrel video. No one understands. I am Darkwing Duck. So as you can see, he looks all right-ish. Yeah, the eyes are a little lopsided, but I try to make him do the like for one eye, one eye open. Let's get dangerous. At least I was glad to find some pipe cleaners for the right color for his beak and his legs. And yeah, as you can see, one of the biggest challenges is to make uh, a cape and his big wide-brimmed hat. You know, uh, let, me, let, let me show you what I'm talking about, why it's such a challenge. This right here is just a circular disc of just great pipe cleaners interwoven together. It doesn't look too bad, right? I mean, it's nice and thin. I mean, it's passable, right? Well, here's what happened when I placed it on him. Yeah, that looks extraordinarily stupid, doesn't it? I mean, it looks like he's more like wearing a sombrero than a nice thin hat, doesn't it? So unfortunately, what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to get some gray cloth, cut it into a big circle, hole in the middle donut, and then make it that way. Same thing with the cape. It's also different colors. It's dark purple on the outside and pink on the inside. What shape, cape, shape should... What shape should the cape be? You know, rectangle? Should I have it blowing off to the side? I don't know. This is all stuff that I have to figure out at a later date. But this is a current project. I'm enjoying it. Because who doesn't want the Darkwing Duck? You know, if you were born prior to 2000, I'm just saying. So, anyway. Darkwing Duck! Now, these last three are among the collection that I love the most. These are the ones I'm most proud of. And if people want these, great. I just don't have much to do with them at the moment. First up is my dragon here. Again, I have a fair amount of original pieces and this dragon is one of them. He's been in a pail for a while. He's about three feet long just for the record. He's got these big glowing eyes. I try, I try to make this as much an occidental dragon as possible. This big, almost scary looking Chinese dragon. Tassel on the tail and uh, just these just getting these spiked ridges along his back was just a pain in the butt. Just row after row after row, pipe cleaner after pipe cleaner, and maroon ones along his back. Got claws. I'm sure she should probably have five. I'm not sure exactly what the tradition should speak of, and then maybe I should do research before I do these. But, you know, I kind of made this on the fly, just went with it, and this is where the direction it took. Yeah, the teeth are gray. He doesn't brush. Just saying. Big forked tongue. I was actually really proud to see that I was able to get pink lining on the inside of his mouth. He's got these weird shaped horns. And I even gave him like these little white sideburns just to kind of give him a very full face that makes him look um, Eastern, if that makes any sense. Most of the colors on here were just r random choice. I just, I'm not even sure why I chose maroon for his claws or red for his tail, but, or even why I gave him two whiskers, two at the bottom of his jaw and two right underneath his nose like Mushu, but it's just what I made. I mean, if you like it, great. So this dragon I'm immensely proud of. I would, wish I could keep him, and I'm sure someone could give him a good home if they wanted him bad enough. So anyway, there's that. Now, now we get down to my last two projects, and they're both Disney characters, so let's see where this goes. And um, yeah, being 27 years old, I'm very nostalgic, especially about the 90s. So obviously there's probably going to be a market for people out there who love this guy. If I have to explain who he is, then why, why, why? But yes, Roger Rabbit. Enough said. I really went out of my way to try to make this look as good as possible. There were only a few downsides I had. Number one, the blue for his bow was just too dark. I didn't have a regular blue at the time. Uh, the other was I had a heck of a time trying to get the right length for his legs, and it's still not right, frankly. But, um, you know, it's better than it was. I mean, his legs were, like, all the way down to here, I thought. Um, managed to get a patch right underneath his cottontail to make sure I got that detail right. The shape of his suspenders and which way they crossed. Kind of make sure I got the... 
bulk of his uh, gloves, the big bulk of his ears, um, had to make sure his eyes were right, even down to the little tooth right here. Um, the only detail I really didn't bother was with, with whiskers. You saw what happened to Rufus. I wasn't going to make whiskers like that. I thought that just looked stupid. So the other, there, the only other pro problem with Roger was that I started getting into the phase where these were less like posable action figures, if you will, and more as something to display, just something to set up. So one detail I did skip on Roger was the bottom of his feet. Yeah, they're just kind of lined pink right here. I didn't add. I wanted to make them all pink and then the three little dots right on here for his toes. And I ran out of pink, plain and simple. And this was the most economic way I could do it. So, yeah. Anyway, um, the only there's only one major problem with Roger. He is, his head is very heavy and his neck is rather small. And unfortunately, it's just not that stable. I wish I could find a way to make this work uh, without dismantling him and or thickening his neck, so whatever. All right, so now I'm down to the one last point. This is the one I'm most proud of, and um, this got my interest sparked again. Um, I've been doing pipe cleaners since I was like eight or so when my sister first taught me, and it just kind of grew into what you see now. And then I did this one, and I just took my time, I was patient with it, and I really put forth a lot of effort, and it only took about five hours. Yeah, the rest of these took like two, three maybe, and this one took about five. So this is my largest project I've ever done, ever. And this is the one everyone seems to love. This was the picture I put up on my Facebook and what triggered my friends to say, ooh, Bear Rabbit, ooh, Winnie the Pooh, and then just got my interest going again, and I loved it. So without further ado, my final project, Disney character as well. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you the mistress of all evil herself. Maleficent the Dragon, as if she needed an introduction. Now, what what can I say? Now, if the lighting looks off, it looks off on my end, and but I'll try to explain to you without being as condescending or patronizing as possible. Obviously, you can tell about how big how big she is. So she's probably, she's a little shorter than my green dragon but of course, and of course she's got the long tail she's got the long neck she's got the spikes all along her back she's got the her tail almost like a sigh and um i really made sure i got details of the weird way her toes ended and then gave off these big spread claws and again like the panda she has this very hull um weaving to her like that went for the stomach and that went for each different angle of her body make sure I had it right. You can kind of see a seam right along the back here. Um, as you may recall, what I still one of the hardest things to do is anything big and wide. And another big thing that's a challenge besides wide brim hats and capes is wings. So for here, I just said, you know what, I could do like black on one side, gray on the other, but what if I just made them clear? Just straight up cold. black pipe cleaners. And it seems to work. I mean, people don't love it or hate it any less. Um, and of course, what's this big stupid thing coming out of her mouth? This is, I don't know if you can tell the color here, the color laying is kind of off. It's green. It's bright green. It's supposed to be a green fireball. Yeah, I don't think it helps anything, but why not? Just why not? I've even got everything down to having a little yellow tongue in there, yellow lip, the black teeth, the yellow nostrils, the yellow eyes. I mean, the only thing I really missed was, like, not having, like, a thin purple one to just weave around her horns, which is so detailed in the movie. And I can't wait to see what the one in the uh, Angelina Jolie movie is going to look like. Uh, the, only diff the only problem here was that the way I had this set up, I didn't know, I didn't know how it was going to um, position her. Because, I mean, she's got very thin forearms and these very thick hind legs, which don't have a whole lot of support to them. I can very easily set her down and she does not hold herself up very well. Unless I go to like Michael's and get a big plaque of wood or something and put like a styrofoam block or something to show her propping up against it and just glue it down. That's the only thing that could really work. So for right now she just kind of sits piled on top of the rest of my pipe cleaner creatures and frankly right now she's my favorite. This is the one that 
everyone seems to love, and I don't see why not. So, yeah, I want to do more pipe cleaner stuff, and I have a whole lot more pipe cleaners to use. I have ideas for others I want to use, but I really am trying to think of other creations that are original. I'm trying to think of more animals and dinosaurs and, uh, you know, I could do some inanimate objects, but frankly, they're boring, and I think they're kind of a... They're just a lot of them are hard to do. Like, don't ask me to do a car or something or a motorcycle. Like, I don't even know what to be. I do so much better organic things. So, yeah, these are all my pipe cleaner creations. I love them. And um, if you'd like to enjoy some of these, let me know. Um, I'm thinking about selling some of these online. Again, the original creations, not the Disney ones, for obvious reasons. So, questions, comments, concerns, requests, I take them, and um, I will see what I can do. Um, best case scenario, I'll probably end up going on Etsy and try selling them there. That's the best I can predict, because I haven't even gotten started. I don't have enough to original creations to begin to sell. So... Anyway, world, this is your first look at my pipe cleaner creations. If you like them, let me know. Other than that, if you want to see me do more voiceover videos, if you want to see me do more drawings or whatever, let me know. I'm happy to share with anything that you find interesting. So, see you later, Internet.